Let's suppose that you've completed your reading list and all of the citations that you want to use in your class are there. The next step is to send this list to the library for processing. So that will enable us to fulfill any digitization requests, um, transfer any physical items from our collection to the reserve desk, or take any personal items that you'd like on reserve, uh, and check any other issues that might be available with the list. So in order to do that, all you have to do is click on send list. You'll note that there's a status for each of your items. So in this case, this one's being prepared because it's a physical item with the digitization request attached to it. Um, and then there are two others. So this one that you exported in, uh, where we'll double check to make sure that the link is working. Um, this one is set as complete in week two because it's a resource that's already working and it directly connects to our collection. So um, we wanted, what you'll see once the library has processed this list um, is that these statuses will change from being prepared. So let's send the list and see what this looks like. So list has been sent. Now that you've submitted your list to the library and the library's had a chance to process that list, do any digitization or prepare everything to make sure your list is ready to go, um, you'll notice that the status of your list items has changed. So this item is complete and so are the other two, which means that they're ready to go. The other thing you'll notice is that your list has now been published. And so now authenticated students uh, are able to actually access the resources and readings on this list. So it's available uh, for the public. So you'll receive notifications about these changes and the things that the library does to work on your list as they happen. So on a daily basis, there'll be an email notification updating you on all the work that's been done on your list. And in addition, you can log in directly to Leganto through Blackboard at any time and click on the notification button to see if there are any lists or any updates to, uh, that have occurred to your list. However, at this time, this list is basically complete and ready to go. So now, whenever a student logs into their Blackboard course site for your class, and they click on the reading list link in their menu, they'll be taken to this reading list uh, and have all of the information right at their fingertips uh, within Blackboard.